So I've been noticing a pretty cool tool appearing quite often in some of the YouTube videos that I like to watch. It's this round suction mount tool that's awesome for working on materials like wood where you don't want to scuff up the part by putting it in a vise. So I was very eager to find this product, but when I did, the price was a hard pill to swallow, particularly when this is something that can be made with a vacuum cleaner and some 3D printing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can take a vacuum cleaner, use some 3D printing, and make something cheaper than this Festool product. And also, I reckon I can come up with a better name. So this is what I came up with in CAD. It's basically an attachment for a standard 40 mil vacuum hose that allows you to attach a workpiece to the top surface that'll be held in place by the vacuum pressure. There's only really four parts to this build. There's the funnel, the base, a grate, and the interface pad. Straight off the print of the part needs a little bit of work, removing some excess support material left over. and deburring all the edges. Designed this model to utilize interference fits, so no glue is really required. Everything just presses together. Attaching the hose is similarly done by friction and fits both the myriad of Dysons that I find in hard rubbish, as well as an old Vax brand you don't have. To be honest, I don't really have a great place that I want to mount this permanently, so I've given the model enough flange area that you can just clamp it to a work surface. There are countersunk features on the flange if you want to permanently mount it with fasteners or something. So let's see if it sucks. Does it suck? Yes it does. So the first little problem is the vacuum cleaner basically wants to eat the suction mount. It just keeps sucking itself in. So I need to add a little flange just to prevent the hose from pulling itself too far into the tool. Easy fixed. Let's see if it is usable or not. Okay. Would you believe it? It works! That was a result I kind of wasn't expecting. After modifying my 3D print with a pin to prevent the hose from getting sucked into the tool, I then take the unnecessary step of gluing everything together. What little movement you can see here is actually just the flexing of the clamps, not the tool. To prove the robustness of this attachment method, I also hit some parts with the belt sander and the router and didn't have any problems. So, did I succeed in making something more cost effective than an $1,100 tool? Well, 3D printing these parts only cost me about $15, which is a tiny percentage of the tool, so I'll call that a win in my book. 
And how did I go with the name? Well, I think Vaxis is just a bit too abstract. I went a bit more literal. I decided on the pressure operated orientation platform. How good's that? I mean, it, oh, it's poop, crap. In addition to having a shit name, you might also ask, is this gonna hurt my vacuum cleaner? And to be honest, I have to say, maybe. It's not how vacuum cleaners are intended to be used. For short durations, there should be no issue. In my case, the Dyson I was using didn't get any more hot than it would just using it normally. And whilst the Festool system is noiseless, or near noiseless, I'm not too concerned about having a vacuum cleaner running in the background, as when I'm using this tool, I'm gonna be using power tools as well. If you want to have a go at printing out this poop design and using this tool, check it out on Thingiverse. Thanks for watching today guys, I hope you liked the video, if you did give us a thumb and a sub, and I'll catch you later, bye.